The following video is a Dennis the Menace production. Dennis the Menace, this name will never stick. On this episode of Is That Gonna Be On The Exam, we look at game-based learning. When discussing educational software, we first have to ask ourselves, what is edutainment software? Edutainment software is software which combines game playing with educational tasks. Uh, this is used to maybe uh, get more students more interested in doing work and actually learning instead of just sitting at home doing book work. Edutainment software allows them to have fun while also learning uh, by playing many different games. Um, it compares to regular games actually fairly commonly, which is why uh, many students love them. Uh, many uh, edutainment software games will have the same ideas behind it, such as needing to shoot aliens or collect coins or stuff to that nature in order to get students more interested in them. So it's something kind of a game they've already played. They're just getting that extra work uh, in as well as studying. So it's kind of cool that they're able to combine both. Another form of edutainment is uh, serious games. Serious games are based on a particular issue and are specifically made to educate individuals on the issue through several different methods. So the idea of serious games is it's not so much just teaching um, and trying to incorporate teaching and having fun. They're meant to be just teaching, not necessarily fun. Although since it's based on a particular issue, many people will buy the game because they're interested in that issue, which will make it fun for them. Um, specific games, um, including Food Force, um, show different ways to manage food and nutritional information uh, during um, mission trips around the world, and it allows users to interact with that, or another game where it's the possibility of uh, building your own farm and having to manage that through famine, tribal attacks, and weather circumstances. So it's very interesting to see serious games to show the educational value without necessarily having the fun aspect thrown in while you're just having fun learning. Many new strategy, ja strategy games are becoming more and more popular um, through the years. Uh, these types of games require users to solve several different types of problems while also managing resources. Um, notable types of strategy games can be seen being used on such devices as the Nintendo DS, um, which is uh, dis uh, depicted below. Um, these strategy games are becoming very common for kids to be using um, because they're finding more and more ways to find the games to be fun and interesting instead of just educational. Um, similar games like this would be like um, Theme Park Tycoon or any of those games where uh, users are required to create something and then keep it operational and functioning. So they have to um, keep in mind several different uh, types of um, factors including health and happiness of clients in the game and um, safety. So it allows them to think on that large scale while playing a game that has no real life consequences. So that's pretty important and is another great edutainment uh, type of game. All right, and finally we're going to look at uh, physical games in the uh, edutainment area. Uh, these types of physical games are very loosely related to edutainment. The, uh, their, like physical education would be the way they're related to edutainment. Um, many new games are being created for physical activity scared students. So students that kind of like shy away from being physically active in classes such as PE or team sports. These games are being created to allow them to still get the necessary exercise while playing a video game which they're maybe more relatable to. Uh, new ways of interacting with the gaming system allow students to receive a workout while still playing video games. So um, most common examples would be um, like the Wii, uh, especially Wii Fit. Uh, the Wii console has sensors that pick up on motion and it's your body movements that allow the in-game character to move and do activities. So you need to move around and do the physical activities in order for your game to pick up on it. And especially with Wii Fit, where it specifically focuses on working out, you can do things such as yoga or um, balance games that allow people to work on balance and yoga, of course, stretching. Um, so these are becoming more and more popular, and many students are finding them very uh, cool ways to still 
play video games while getting the necessary exercise. So it's a very important aspect in today's world. And these are the sources I use to gather information for this uh, PowerPoint. Uh, thank you very much for watching another Dennis the Menace production video. Dennis the Menace Productions, I can't believe that name stuck.